Hello, I'm Marina Bausi from Stanford University, and I'm here today with two of my co-authors, Nicolò Pretto and Sergio Canazza from University of Padova. And today I will be presenting the paper, Sound and Music Computing Using AI, Designing a Standard. MPI, which stands for Moving Picture, Audio and Data Coding by Artificial Intelligence, was established less than a year ago in September of 2020. And it's an international nonprofit organization which uh, aims to develop standards for data coding that have AI as its core technology. The overall structure of MPI relies on the general AI framework, we call it AIF, which enables the creation and automation of mixed machine learning, AI, and legacy data processing modules, which we call collectively um, AI modules or AIMs. And it defines the use of the AIMs as part of the, um, different use cases workflows. A specific area of interest is the MPI context-based audio enhancement, we call it mpi Chi, which aims to improve the user experience for several audio and music-related applications. Let's start with the basic structure of MPI. Um, on the left side of this slide, you can um, see uh, the basic unit of the um, AIF, uh, AI framework, uh, which we call um, AIMs. Um, the AIMs are um, the smallest units and they are computational modules trained for specific tasks that exploit AI, um, machine learning and legacy data processing. And the AIMs can be implemented both in hardware or software or a mixture of hardware and software. Uh, the interesting thing about the MPI standard is that it doesn't define the internal behavior of the AIMs, but it clearly specifies the syntax and the semantics of the interfaces. So in this particular case, the input and outputs and how it interacts with the knowledge base unit. On the right side of the slide, um, I'm showing a general workflow for uh, the MPI uh, structure. And uh, um, in, in this workflow, uh, the AIMs operate and exchange data in very specific formats. Um, the idea that the format is specified allows for the AIMs to be replaceable, reusable, and upgradable without changing the logic of the specific application so that we can continue the improvements without being set on a specific uh, and perhaps sometimes data technology. Um, the general structure is basically um, consisting of six main components. The management and control, which manages and controls uh, the AIMs. The execution, um, which is the environment in which the different combination of AIMs operate. Uh, the AIMs themselves, of course. Uh, and then um, in the bottom part, we notice that there is a communication box, uh, which is the basic infrastructure that allows to connect uh, possibly remote components and AIMs a storage, and finally, the access to static or slowly changing data. The first case I would like to introduce to your attention is, uh, uh, I think, uh, particularly impo important to the SMC community, and it is the audio recording preservation. Um, the input in this particular case is the audio of a digitized tape, and the video of that tape is also included as an input. Um, the first module that we encounter is the audio enhancer, which basically consists of a denoiser. Uh, the video input is analyzed by an AI algorithm for detecting irregularities, such as splices, damages, and then so on and so forth. Um, single frames concerning irregularities uh, and their corresponding audio excerpts are then analyzed by the musicological classifier, which aims to select and describe um, relevant irregularities. Finally, the resulting description and images of the irregularities will be part of what we call the preservation master file, 
created by the last AAMs, the packaging module. Another, I think, very interesting use case is the emotion enhanced speech use case, which aims to standardize natural communication between virtual agents. The inputs are, um, in this particular case, I'm showing it to the left side, uh, a neutral uh, speech, which could be synthesized, also recorded, and an emotion text file, which specifies which basic emotion to insert and when to insert it. Um, the speech feature analyzer extracts the speech features, queries the emotion knowledge base, and obtains emotion descriptors. Alternatively, uh, the emotion descriptors could be derived by an embedded neural network. The emotion uh, knowledge base is part of particular interest and it consists of a set of speakers uh, reading or reciting the same corpus of texts um, with uh, the standard uh, set of basic emotions or without the emotion. Um, for different languages and for different genders. The speech uh, feature analyzer queries the emotion uh, knowledge base to extract the speech features, um, which can be separated in two main groups, prosodic and frequency related parameters. Finally, the emotion inserter inserts a particular emotional um, feature such as anger, fear, uh, happiness, and so on and so forth into the neutral speech, or which can be again uh, synthesized. Um, it also can change the strength of an emotion in a very gradual fashion. I also would like to mention uh, the third case that's uh, um, described in the paper, but unfortunately given to a time limit, I will not be able to go into the details. So feel free to ask questions or uh, refer to the paper for this use case, um, is the MPI Chi audio on the go use case, AOG. And the aim of AOG is to improve safety and listening quality in various situations on the go, in which the users can be uh, on the move, like in a car, in a bike, or running. So in conclusion, um, I presented two or three, if you wish, uh, um, of the four um, use cases currently um, described by the MPI Chi standard. Uh, the MPI Chi standard is right now in the development stage, so we're open to new members and new use cases. Um, but having said that, uh, I would like also to mention that uh, um, MPI is a community of highly motivated experts. They are covering not just uh, audio, but several other areas, such as multimodal conversation, AI enhanced uh, traditional video coding, integrated genomic sensor analysis, server-based predictive distributed multiplayer online gaming, and uh, connected autom autonomous vehicles. So um, MPI has introduced a number of emulation, both in terms of technology, specific technology, but also at the approach to the standard. And uh, uh, in addition, um, MPI is pledging to address ethical questions that can be raised by this uh, specific um, AI-based work. So in, thank you for your attention. And if you want to know more about MPI, please visit MPI.community or contact directly the secretary at MPI.community. Thank you again for your attention.